The great thing about a lot of the things that I've been involved with is the style is big and broad. I was intrigued by a different way that a white singer could use a voice. Do you think you were born with that obsession, that need? I was crafted by frustration, really. I just had to get out. It's just one thing Everybody needs it so bad a lot of older people don't want to talk about it, but they need it just the same. The critics of the time were probably my age as I am now, and I was 19. Mm. So it's true that if you were into a Count Basie or um, Muddy Waters at Carnegie Hall or whatever it might have been, then we were definitely precocious. In those days, there was no consistency in our performance. We just played and played until we couldn't play anymore. And then we'd maybe stop. <laughs> and then we'd get in a station wagon and drive to the next town and, um, and do it again. When do you think you might stop being unruly? Oh, my dear girl. <laughs> the very fact that I do this is, means I'm unruly. I'm, uh, I've stopped. I'm playing the game. <laughs> Soft lighting. <laughs> That's for me, not for you. Oh, charmer. <laughs> She's buying the stair to heaven And when she gets there she knows If the stores are all closed With a word she can get what she came for The gig is to do what you do well And then it's never going to be a job <laughs>